वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टू एस्कॉर्ट ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑनलाइन चैनल एंड दिस इज क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी सीरीज विथ अस वी हैव मिस्टर आर माधवन ही इज एन एग्री एक्सपर्ट लाइक यू एज वेल एज ही हैज अ 30 इयर्स ऑफ ओन एक्सपीरियंस डूइंग फार्मिंग सक्सेसफुली सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लिसन टुडे ऑन द एपिसोड व्हिच इज ऑन सोइंग प्लांट पॉपुलेशन एज वेल एज हार्वेस्टिंग एंड मार्केटिंग वेलकम मिस्टर माधवन let's uh, hear from you on this episode thank you um i think we were going through a lot of episodes and we were covering quite a few topics on farming and uh, management area though you are familiar with some and i was sharing my experience and other things If there was any repetition i think you need to ignore and continue with what you want to take out of that now i felt on plant population see please remember now you have gone through a lot of episodes now few episodes with various inputs and various techniques and various methods etc of all plant population per acre plays a vital role say say for example i'll take an example of corn now how many seeds i can accommodate that is how many plants that i can accommodate in an acre we talked little bit on land preparation about certain methods of doing it for the tractor see most of our operation which are very difficult to do manually we have to take a help of a tractor which not only improves labor efficiency but also certain amount of precision which is needed for various our cultural operation irrigation pest management and all that we spoke about it for which we need little precise manner it is organized and put the plant but within that we have to put optimum plant population now for to have a plant in a field the prerequisite for you is fertile ground number 2 very important but we are getting it free sunlight now we have to you know catch this sunlight very efficiently and that is where your plant population is managed you can't have gaps at the same time you can't overpopulate it so you have to have an optimum population how do you decide on the optimum population i said two areas one canopy of a plant is to be first kept in mind if it is a brinjal you know how much i am going to show you a, you know the field of brinjal to my left on the screen you can see a brinjal crop so how, what is the canopy that it's going to take right and in my next screen i am going to show you corn crop how much of that takes you know number of plants per acre now this will visually will give you an idea what i am talking about canopy canopy means the leaf area so both are different say for example in my brinjal if you have observed properly i have only put around 4000 to 5000 plants per acre whereas in corn i put 28000 now it's a vast different so canopy is to be kept in mind number 2 the fertility of the particular soil now we all know that fertility is measured through soil test only complete soil analysis and we talked about it in a complete episode so in a separate special episode on soil management and soil testing etc so now once you know what is your fertility then you can accommodate simple method which i am going to tell you now if your fertility level is low say for example if it is low most of the indian soils are low as far as i have i have taken random samples across india of more than 50000 samples are with me and i never seen even one which is high fertile of this 50000 so it, it it inevitably it is low fine in a low population i mean low fertility it is always advised to have low number of plants to start with to understand easily say uh, say i have a marriage and my house i have organized in my kitchen for 1000 people food now i have to invite 1000 people only i can't cook for 1000 and invite 2000 there will be a chaos in my marriage similarly if my fertility is can handle only 1000 plants you cannot put 2000 plants there will be chaos 
each will be competing fighting there will be nobody who can eat in peace everybody is going to fight for it so plants now this is the simple idea which you have to keep in mind fertility relating to your canopy of your plant and that will that's going to establish and that is the reason land preparation say i'm going to relate this again in land preparation why did we say 30 60 you know that we keep on banging like a old gramophone record uh, this 30 60 30 60 you know why we want you to have maximizing your human efficiency how using the machines but using the machine blindly is not going to help you either how to use the machine effectively in bringing down your drudgery is the you know the, the intelligent part of yours to use it you may have a very wonderful tractor and tool but if you don't know how to put it then it's as good as not having a tool or a tractor so if you have a tractor and a tool you must also know how to use it to your efficiency you know to your reducing drudgery and in terms of productivity improvement so that means keep it in mind fertility plant population and the canopy of your plant so these three you have to juggle around to make your optimum selection of your crop as i have example i've just shown you the picture of uh, brinjal and corn both the pictures i have shown you so one is a very low populated because the brinjal can take a larger space whereas corn is a vertical crop that means you can accommodate more number of plants in a square area. Now, you know now, you can select based on this wheat, jowar, etc. Any millet, any of the cereals which are growing vertically and whichever is taking, you know, larger horizontal area like tomato, brinjal, these take, you know, larger volume. That means you can reduce the number of plants per acre. So each plant is going to give you more productivity. Right. Now, this is about planting, precisely planting on these basic steps. The next one which I would like to share, marketing. Whatever you have to produce, you have produced, you cannot sell it at a distressed sale. Now, why is most of the farmer's fields are sold at a distressed sale? Why is that? Because we are not analyzing the marketing. We are not looking for supply and demand, you know, that is needed in farming also. You can't just produce anything and then try to sell it in a market and the, the vendor is going to cheat you or the vendor is going to put your price down. So you have to really kill yourself to sell it at a lower price. So you have to study a little bit on marketing. Prior to that, unfortunate, you know, this is very unfortunate and it is very sad. I have seen it across the fields. In my own farm, it happened whenever we are harvesting. We are not grading them. You see, the grading is not done as widely as it should be. Suppose I, I pick Brinjal. Initially, you know what my, my own farmer, you know, my own helper who is helping me in the my farm activities. Initially, long day, about 20, 30 years ago, what he used to do is we'll put all the bad ones at the bottom and put the half the gunny bag and the half the gunny bag, very good one. So when you open a bag, you will see a good one. But when the vendor pours it out, he will see the 50% which are rot. We should never do that. So I've told, you know, I've changed that concept and I have seen it many places that's happening. You know, they just mix it. That is not a good way. So whenever you bring a produce harvested from your field at proper time, proper maturity, everything, because you know all that, bringing it to the yard, I mean, to your place, first segregate it the more you segregate the better remuneration you get the more discipline you are in your segregation your value is added see after i have started doing that almost now two decades past in the market they wait for my product before the price is fixed you see so that is the discipline you have to bring it in like any industry many industries are doing this but why in farming we have we are not doing it is a tragedy. We should be doing that in the farming also, which really pay you very well and your name. You see, you are sending it in your farm name. Oh, I get this, uh, you know, gunny bag from this uh, farm. No, that means let us wait. Once that is there, then we will decide on the cost and we will accept only that first and then only second yours. You see, that should be the discipline which you have brought. 
now i also cultivate brinjal my neighbors you know almost every day from my village about 14 to 18 tons of brinjal is transported you know by various farmers including mine now the the vendor sends the truck and picks up from all the farms collects it and then take it to the yard and then selling it now what happened the same brinjal i get 10 rupee per kilo my neighbor gets 3 rupees a kilo why is that you see that is where the marketing gets in i mean anybody wants quality quality produce is always paid and you don't have to worry about marketing but if you don't have a quality then you know you have to run around with him go and do all sorts of thing which most farmers are doing which is really really tragedy we should not be doing it if we have the quality we can demand the price you see my neighbor gets 3 and i get 10 for same brinjal but the different is quality i segregate properly remove all the bad ones see that is going to give you an indication i normally measure and take it so for every 100 kilo what was my worm eaten product i keep that record and that i will never allow to go beyond 3 to 4% but segregate that that segregated one is kept separately the good ones are transported in a good manner to the shop supposing over matured you know a little ripened over too much too ripened one i remove all that so i don't do all these things these are called disciplining in marketing at the same time the gunny bag should be weighed properly you see most of the farmers will say no i don't have a weighing machine or they have some weighing scales which are not properly calibrated so you say 40 kilos and the fellow will measure it and it is only 36 so then he loses the trust with you you see now here if i say 40 i'll be writing it on top of my gunny bag 40 kilos now this 40 will be 40.100 grams constantly so now he got used to it for so many years now he doesn't even measure it now you see the trust is there now oh from there no 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 just take it that's all uh, that's 40 you to go so for him you are making the life easier for which he is going to pay you it's not i think there is no free service if you if you make the vendor's life easy that is payment to you and that's why i get 10 and you get 3 you see the difference i make his life easy not because killing myself that is part of my duty because i produce brinjal that means i am the producer like like a tractor now you want to buy a tractor and you want to get it done you know neatly cleaned everything pakka the moment you put the key in and then it should start and every, everything should be perfect otherwise you are not going to buy it similarly brinjal it should satisfy the end customer who is the end customer the ladies if they are unhappy you know see vendor is not going to consume so you have to satisfy the the house ladies they have to be happy initially i'll share my experience what i did with the cabbage in the marketing of cabbage i used to produce 4 kilo head of cabbage you know each will each will be 3 kilos and i used to be so proud ah i've got 3 kilo head cabbage but then my price will be 2 rupees per kilo i thought are what is this you know what is the use of this so, so i went to the vendor shop and stood far away you know while he was doing marketing in the evening hour is the busiest hour in that market where all the ladies of the house you know come to the market hundreds of ladies so i stood you know about 10 15 feet away from that shop and watched what's happening so uh, ladies come pick up this 3 kilos eh, their face you know went shriveling they immediately put it down so they wanted something small half a kilo 600 grams 700 grams that i learned it by standing there in the marketing technique the next year the following crop i produced all my cabbages at 750 grams 600 grams i got per kilo 12 rupees you see i'm sharing this experience this i came to know because of this marketing little effort i made it to stand there in the shop to watch what the end customer want see at, at, at the end you have to satisfy them 
Yes. Now the moment I produce 600, it sold in two hours. Everybody picked each one. Then I thought, wh- why is this? So all the ladies are happy to take one whole fruit instead of cutting, you know, making four or five cuts and taking it pieces. They were very hesitant to do it. And four kilo is not, not useful for them. Maybe it's useful for marriage or some temple festival. But for domestic consumption, for the, you know, everyday domestic house consumption, they prefer 600, half a kilo is the you know ideal size for them. So we can produce that as a farmer. But you must know what should be the, your produce to satisfy the end customer there. Then your marketing is much easier. Please remember quality, size. The next one comes, I know I have a Goa orchard guava fruits orchard now i i sort of worked on it how to make the customer happy on buying your guava how do you do it not putting them in colorful bags um, you know making all sorts of decoration in the bag is not going to help in marketing of specially agri produce i thought i was reading many things which i will share it you know if you are really interested in technical aspects guava sweet content makes people to buy more. Now, the sweetness of Goa comes from nutrient value in your soil. And that is done by potash. So, you have to see, it's not just dumping potash, you see. The potash should be made available to that particular crop at particular window, particular time. Then the sweetness increases. So, I have a meter which is very cheap simple tool it's called bricks measuring meter i'll show you the picture at the side how this machine a small gadget it's a very small very very small it is like a torch light now what do you do with this you can measure what is your bricks that is sweetness what is the unit of your sweetness of your produce that i measured and kept it at certain level See, our mouth loves at certain value. So I tested with one person. I brought him to my farm and cut this particular Goa and something else. So I watched him. He kept on taking that Goa and ignoring the other one. You see, that's a human psychology. The, the other one was very sweet. The, the, the second one which I kept, I know from where it is. It is from a low fertile soil. You see, it's the fertility. Now one piece he put slowly, you know, not to hurt me, so he put it separately. But he kept on taking from plate A. Because plate A belongs to one particular. So I just wanted to experiment how this person is going to behave on this, you see. Then I found out at 10.5, 10.11, the person went mad. He was able to consume four Govas in one go. Ah, then I made my market, you see. Now, I will only start producing at 10.5 to 11 of my bricks content. He went mad. Next, what happened? The vendor came directly here to my farm. He said, I will take all your govas, how much you're going to produce? I said, yes, my price is now not 10 rupees. It is 20 rupees. You see, simple marketing. And he said, no, no, no problem. Can I pay advance? I said, no. You pay at the time of taking it from my farm gate, but this is my price. You see, farmers have to be a little more innovation also in marketing. And for that, you have to use all the technologies available, how to do it, you know. You don't have to cheat people, you see. I'm not cheating. You are producing the best. Similarly, how to, you know, how you make it. I'm going to show you a brinjal, which is a one kilo brinjal. See, in Raipur area, I worked in Ranchi with quite a few farmers in Ranchi area and there is a local variety, it is about one kilo. Huge brinjal, green huge brinjal. I brought the seed. I thought how I can do it. So the moment people looked at the brinjal, they didn't buy it. Oh, no, we don't want one kilo brinjal. I said, okay. Now, I took that one kilo brinjal to my neighbor pizza shop. You might all know pizzas. I took it to that shop. 
I asked the pizza fellow, can you replace your dough? You know, he, he puts a flour, corn flour as a dough. Instead of that, I said, you put, uh, you know, quarter inch uh, my brinjal piece. Initially, he said, no, no, I won't. I said, I'm going to pay you. See, I will pay for you to do this and buy that product, buy back from you, whatever price you are saying. So he was agreeing because he is not at a loss. He is now gaining. So I made two brinjals, eight, seven inches pieces. So I received about eight pieces of dough. I said, dress it with, uh, you know, cheese and all that with the brinjal. I said, now bake the brinjal. He baked it. I made him to eat one. And I asked his cook, you know, eat one. So everybody to eat one at my cost. My brinjal, my product. I paid for him. I said, eat. Sir, this is so wonderful. Brinjal has become so soft. And all the cheese has gone and penetrated everything in. I said, yes. Sir, can you please supply us with brinjals? We will buy anything. I said, per brinjal, 100 rupees. You see the marketing, you know. I'm sharing this. This happened. So, instead of saying, oh, what will I do? So, what I did, the centerpiece, I got four seven-inch diameters, quarter-inch thickness piece. And on either side, they were shapeless. So, those brinjals were discarded. Then I called the hotel fellow. Here, you take five, five rupees and you chop it and put it in sambar. Anyhow, you're going to put chop the brinjal only in sambar. You're not going, you don't need a seven-inch uh, diameter and one quarter-inch thickness. All that is not needed for you. What you want is a brinjal here, take it. So the side chopped one brinjals after the pizza oh, gone for other marketing, which is hotel. Product is clean, neat. Center one is for now 100 rupees. The side balance which you got for 5 rupees. What more you want? So if I produce 5 brinjal in one plant, one plant is going to give me 500 rupees. And my investment was only 10 rupees. What do you want? Nah, these are the marketing techniques, which I'm sharing it with you. A couple of things you know, as we go, we can do many such innovations. Farmers are very intelligent. I'm not saying that they are not. The only thing is they do, lack of opportunity is killing them. Otherwise, they are far superior intelligent than any other segment in the group. I completely agree on that. Thank you very much. We'll keep moving around with a lot of questions, which I look forward for it. Thank you very much, sir. It was a wonderful session today. Uh, I would say it's an eye opener. It is there in front of us, but we were missing it. The way you told how to market our product, it is very simple, but it is very innovative. I would say each and every farmer who would watch this episode will surely, and not just 100, but 200%, they will get benefit out of this. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, and have a nice day. Thank you.